hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect ChatGPT with uh, Google Sheets so that you can do a lot of the things that you do on uh, ChatGPT directly on Google Sheets so that you don't have to you know, copy from one page and paste on the sheets um, and so forth. So in the first part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, integrate or connect these two features together. In the second part of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a planner with this feature. So let's dive in. All right, so the first step would be to um, actually connect ChatGPT to Google Sheets. So open up Google Sheets, um, a document, and then once you have it open, go to uh, the top menu here and click on extension and go to add-ons. As you can see, I've already downloaded it here, but I'm, I'm just gonna show you where to find it. So once you go on, go to add-ons, click on get an add-ons. Um, and then here at the search ma uh, search bar, search for GPT for, for sheets. You will get a few options here. Uh, the one that you're gonna select is this one here by uh, Talarian. And uh, once you click on it, you click on install. Right now I'm not gonna click on it because that will uninstall the uh, feature from um, the Google Sheets. So once you click on install, go back to your Google Sheet and click on extensions again and scroll down all the way to the bottom. So this is where all of the add-ons that you add to Google Sheet will show up. So you can see GPT for Sheets and then you click open. Once you click open, it will open up this side here, which I already had it open. And as you can see now, it's reloading. And then the second part would be to actually um, do the connection, because currently you have downloaded it, but it's not really connected to your ChatGPT account. So once you do that, you click up here, um, where you see GPT uh, 3.5 Turbo. So these are all different, uh, the GPT versions that are available with this. So we're just gonna use the Turbo for now. Um, and then once you do that, you scroll all the way down to uh, set API keys. So once you click on set API keys, it will, um, open up this window where you need to actually add the API key. So right now I'm going to show you where to find the API key. So what you need to do is visit this page called platform.openai.com and make sure you have an account. And then once you're logged in, obviously you're going to come to the dashboard. And what you need to do is to um, click on API keys and come all the way down here to um, create an API key. So um, click on create new secret key. And you have two options, one for service account, one for you. So the one that's for you, um, this API key is tied to your user and can make a uh, request against the selected project. If you are removed from the organization or the project, then this key will automatically um, disconnect basically or will be disabled and then you have another option service uh, this is for a new bot member or service account the one that you need to choose is this one here um, and then once you do that you name the api key in this case i'm gonna call it google uh, google sheet demo and i'm gonna leave it at the default um, and I'm gonna also select all so I don't I want it to you know do everything not just read I want it to be able to edit the uh, the document as well, right? So if you do read then obviously it's just gonna um, Read the document and potentially not edit it, but leave it to all and then create secret key and then once key is created make sure you copy the key and when you do that go back to Google sheet and paste the key here in the open AI key and click save. Now here it shows you like other, obviously if you wanna connect it to uh, other artificial intelligence softwares, you do have the option here as well, right? So not just ChatGPT, but this is obviously a demonstration just for ChatGPT. So once that's done, now we're ready to use ChatGPT directly onto Google Sheets. So um, you have a few options here. If you wanna see all of the functions that you can use to populate this, uh, this sheet with ChatGPT, just click on this link here, 
and then it will open up all of the possible functions that you can implement so these are the functions that you can uh, use them that are available today so um, the uh, the basic one the easiest one would be an equal sign GPT and then um, within parentheses and quotation marks write a tagline for you know any topic you want you know for a, a journal for an ice cream shop or whatever um, you know sports ideas and whatnot and then you also have the second most popular function which is chat GPT list and this one here uh, you can basically it will help you to populate ideas quickly and also divide them into different lists so the first one here will give you ideas and uh, taglines but it will put everything in one cell but if you want them to appear in different cells then you you're gonna have to use this function right so let's just do it for demonstration GPT and then give me five goal setting planner ideas and as you can see it's trying to generate these lists for you and um, because we used the regular function and we didn't use the list it, it put all of the ideas into one cell so if you wish to divide that then make sure you add a list and then that way it will populate it and it will add them into different um, cells basically right so as you can see here daily goal tracker weekly goal planner monthly goal setting worksheet uh, yearly goal setting journal habit tracker for goal achievement so it gave me five ideas and then it put them into different uh, cells so as opposed to you know going to chat GPT and write that prompt and then copy and paste it over this feature will help you do it in one place and it will save you a lot of time um, so there are other features that you can take a look at here there is one that is for translation you know if you want to translate a text so we can copy this one over just for demonstration purposes like you, as you can see uh, it's equal sign GPT underscore translate uh, and then you put basically the word or the the, uh, the sentence that you want to translate and then you put the language right so uh, let's do that for demonstration purposes and instead of Spanish I'm gonna actually put Swedish because that's one of the languages that I speak so and then obviously you wait until it does the work for you and then there you go Svalka uh, day med våra läckra god saker so again the translation in Swedish is available for you so there is a lot of things that you can do with this feature and um, you know there's a lot of functions that you can apply you, you know you can um, edit things you can change the format of you know dates or whatnot um, and then there is certain things that will help you you know classify certain things into categories and whatnot like this one equal GPT underscore classify banana uh, within quotations and the um, um, comma fruits comma vegetables right so these are some of the things that 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 you can do with this one so just for demonstration purposes let's see what this one will do so it's just basically um, it helped you determine what banana is right so banana classify banana is it a fruit or a vegetable and then it will basically do it for you now that's simple but you can incorporate it into much more complicated things right it, it could be um, uh, financial data they want to classify into uh, revenue and expenses or whatever that is so these functions are very useful for you to to use and it will save you a lot of time now in this part of the video I'm gonna show you how to actually create a planner with this feature all right so now let's create a daily productivity planner I already have the prompts ready and even the functions ready so I'm just gonna plug them in and I'm gonna show you how to um, create a, a planner 
All right, so the first prompt that I'm gonna use is obviously equal GPT and then within parentheses and quotation marks, write a tagline for daily productivity planner and I'm gonna hit enter. This will give me um, this one here, maximize your, your um, day every day with your daily productivity planner. If I wanna, you know, change the font or make it more bold, you know, I can I can do that by playing around with with the top menu right here, and then I'm actually gonna insert this in the second column. basically the headline of the journal and then the second thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this prompt right here or the function with the prompt embedded in it so equal GPT underscore list within parentheses and quotation mark give me five good daily productivity questions and I get these five um, the first one is what are my top priorities for today the second one is uh, what tasks can I delegate and outsource the third one is am I making progress toward towards my long-term goals and then the fourth one is how can I um, better uh, manage my time to avoid uh, distractions and uh, have I um, taken breaks to rest and recharge throughout the day so these are basically the prompts that I got. If you dislike one of them or not, and, and you wanna change it, feel free to do it. Uh, for simplicity and for you know the quickness of this dem demonstration, I'm not gonna change any of these, but I'm gonna show you how to actually uh, design your planner so that it actually makes sense. So there is one, um, I wouldn't say glitch, but shortcoming with this feature is that um, sometimes you can't actually copy and move and add rows as you want uh, or as you wish because I don't know like it's just not properly developed maybe in the future they will but uh, let's say for instance like if I want to add a row it doesn't add a row right normally it should add a row but but if you want to add a row what you can do is um, obviously in this case you do want to add a row so that they can um, you know answer you give them space to answer the question what you do is actually copy you copy the uh, the text right don't copy the first one because then you're gonna copy the function but copy the other ones and then you can paste it so once you um, copy and paste that then um, you uh, retype the first one and make sure you don't copy it because if you copy it then what it's gonna what's gonna happen is that it's gonna actually give you all of the uh, the prompts or the questions they ask for so your job is not to copy the first one but actually type it out what are my top priorities for today so now we have all of them and then once you have all that set what you can do is you can delete this part you actually can delete row 3 to 8 so now that we have everything um, copied and typed out and not the function included now it's time to work on the design so let's do that the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna add a row above or below each question and this is gonna be the space where people answer the question
All right, so one thing that we can do to make it more appealing is to make each empty cell here bigger, you know, just to give people more space to respond to each question. And obviously this is like a matter of personal preference, how you wish to do it and how much space you want to add. And then let's make them all bold. Perhaps not the answers, so let's just unbold the answer spots. Perfect. And um, if you want to change the color, you can do that here. You know, just for design purposes, you can choose whatever color you want. And this is for dem demonstration purposes. So I'm just almost like choosing colors, sort of like randomly. Merely to illustrate a point. So you can see that here. Now we have somewhat of a planner. You can either stretch that all the way like that or you can bring it shorter you might want to add something else here so you can add things here you can use either the chat GPT feature to add things here you know like the functions or you can type them out manually in this case because I already have um, the things that I would like to add so I'm just gonna paste it right there like that. I would also like to change the font to make it consistent. So we'll go up here, sorry, right there, and add the font that I'm looking for is the centric, century gothic. And then let's make it bigger, like that. But at the same time, it's also important to make sure that the text is actually wrapping around. So if you want to make sure that when, when people type and it doesn't flow over to the other side, then make sure you do, you know, you go here, you do format and then wrap text, right? Obviously we want the text to appear at the top. so. All of it we want it to appear at the top so make sure you highlight all cells and then go up here put it up there so it all will appear at the top and then as everything is highlighted make sure also to do um, you know a text wrap so wrap the text so that it ensures that the text is actually getting wrapped in this case I'm actually gonna leave you know the uh, the title out I don't want to I don't want to wrap it, but I want to wrap everything else just to make sure that it's actually done properly like that. So the stuff that I added here, so let me just remove this. Um, status, done or not done, or notes, why things were done or they weren't. Uh, what tasks can I delegate or outsource? Who can I outsource it to? You know, a list of things that you can do. Um, am I making progress towards my um, long-term goals? Three things I'm proud of doing today that basically contribute to um, me achieving my long-term goal. And then how can I better manage my time and avoid distraction? What, distra uh, what distracted me today? So you can list out the certain things that may or may not have distracted you today. Um, and then have I taken breaks to rest and recharge throughout the day? You know, you can write what you want here and then meal tracker, you know, track your meals and what whatnot because it's somewhat related to whether you recharge or not. This is obviously just a bunch of ideas that I'm including here. You can add whatever you want. Um, you can also, you know, use the functions that I showed you here to populate and get s some ideas. All you got to do is just, you know, as I showed you earlier, like G, uh, GPT, and then 
whether you're looking for a, a tagline or you're looking for a list and then you basically add the prompt and close it and then it will populate whatever you want and then I showed you how to copy it and then paste it so that you don't actually copy the function and then so obviously this is just a rough um, or this is just a, a quick illustration of how you can do things if you spend more time on it obviously you can make it look prettier and prettier and you can change the colors however you want um, one more thing that I would like to do is um, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna make it like a 30 day so this is day one I'm gonna duplicate and do day two right you can actually you know include it here you know day two just for illustration purposes let's just make it consistent here I like this font better I might want to play around and just you know design it however I want but mm, what color would look nice here let's just do soft green day two and then let's just go back here and do day one keep it consistent like that and then I'm gonna duplicate day two and change this to day three and so forth so what you can do is you can actually make a daily uh, productivity planner that has multiple tabs uh, each tab stands for one day and then that way the person can actually track their progress so there's so many things that you can do with um, with Google Sheets as well as with the chat GPT feature that is embedded into it or that could be integrated with it um, and it could help you uh, save a lot of time now obviously you don't have to use the chat GPT in order to do this you <clears throat> you don't have to integrate it because it, the chat GPT feature does come with a small fee in order to use it with Google Sheets and um, <clears throat> in order to track how much you've actually used so you can go use it here and this is where it, it will show you you know how much you've actually how much it cost you to sort of like the integration between the two and the the uh, the prompt usage and all that stuff how much it expenses it has resulted to so if you don't want to use the chat gpt you can you know still use uh, google sheets to create uh, fillable planners or um, journals or whatever you want but obviously for this video it's a planner <clears throat> um and then yeah so this is basically the idea and then you can play around and design it however you want change the font and um, I hope you uh, did find this helpful and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and good luck on making your um, amazing planners